Contrary to popular belief, Europeans were not the first to settle the future United States. North America was home to thousands of cultures that arose throughout the land over centuries, each with a unique belief system. This early stages in human history is known as the Pre-Columbian Era. This time includes all history and prehistory of the Americas before the arrival of substantial Europeans on the American continents, covering the time of the original settlements in the Upper Paleolithic period, 15,000 to 12,000 years ago, to European colonization during the early modern period during the 15th century. The saying pre-Columbian era literally denotes only to the time prior to Christopher Columbus's expedition of 1492. However, the idiom frequently is used to indicate the complete history of Native American cultures until those were considerably influenced, i.e. wiped out, by Europeans, even if this occurred centuries after Columbus's first arrival. Many pre-Columbian civilizations established symbols of human ingenuity, which comprised of lasting settlements, cities, agriculture, monuments, and intricate social hierarchies. Some of these cultures had long vanished by the time of the first permanent European and African arrivals in late 15th century and early 16th centuries, and are identified only through archaeological examinations and oral history. Other cultures existed during the colonial period and were defined in European historical interpretations of the time. A few, such as the Mayan civilization, had their own written accounts. Since many Christian Europeans of the time regarded such writings as sacrilegious, men like Diego de Landa, a 16th century Spanish bishop of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Yucatan, destroyed many texts and bonfires, even while looking to preserve native accounts. Only a few concealed documents have survived in their original languages, while others were transliterated or dictated into Spanish, giving contemporary historians hints of ancient values and understandings. Because of the lack of records documented by settlers, historians are still a bit in the dark as the origins of the first people to move into the Americas. There are luckily a few sound theories. Asian wanderers are believed to have arrived in the Americas by means of the Bering Land Bridge, now the Bering Strait. Over the progression of millennia, Paleo-Indians spread all over North and South America. Exactly when the first group of people migrated into the Americas is a subject of much debate. One of the initial distinguishable cultures was the Clovis culture, with locations dating from some 13,000 years ago. The Clovis, named after distinctive stone tools found at sites near Clovis, New Mexico, in the 1920s and 1930s, appeared at the end of the last glacial period, categorized by the creation of Clovis points and distinct bone and ivory tools. Yet, Older sites date back to 20,000 years ago have been claimed. Some genetic studies suggest the settlement of the Americas dates from between 40,000 to 11,700 years ago. The timetable of migration simulations is presently separated into two overall approaches. The first is the short chronological theory with the first movement outside Alaska into the New World arising no earlier than 14,000 to 17,000 years ago, trailed by continuous waves of immigrants. The second theory is the long chronological theory, which suggests that the first clutch of people moved into the hemisphere at the much earlier time, possibly 50,000 to 40,000 years ago, or even prior. But it's important to remember that these are just theories and not facts. The truth is that we as historians are really unsure as to what really went on, at least with the current data available. Relics have been found in both North and South America which have been dated at 14,000 BCE, and humans are believed to have reached the southern tip of South America by this time. The Inuit and related people arrived independently and at a much later date, perhaps during the first millennia CE moving across the ice from Siberia into Alaska. 
It is safe to assume that the more historians and archaeologists dig up, a more vivid picture of the past will materialize. 